Hello and welcome to another short video on my channel. Kiri Engine just released version 2.6.1 which added the featureless object scanning mode. In this video I am going to tell you what this mode can do and what it means for the future of scanning. Let's get right into it. But first, what even is the featureless object mode? The featureless object mode uses Kiwi's nerve to mesh algorithm, which can reconstruct surfaces that have no detail or features. In my personal experience, this mode has improved the mesh of objects with little to no detail. But it isn't flawless, as I will show you later in this video. This feature is only a preview feature, so issues and bugs are to be expected. Now once you are in the Kiri Engine app that has been updated to version 2.6.1, you will see that under the plus there is now a mode called featureless object mode. After you click on it, the screen will prompt you to shoot a video around the object. Just click on the screen to get rid of the prompt and click on the red button to start recording. Now circle around the object until you have it covered completely, but make sure that the object is always on screen and that there are no other objects around that the algorithm could misunderstand for your object. After that, press the red button again to stop recording. Then give your scan a name, choose your file format and a tag, and at last press upload to begin uploading. I have noticed that the upload on the featureless object mode is way faster than the upload on any other mode. After your model has finished processing you can click on it to download it and export it. As you can see the texture is not really looking good. This is already a known issue and the devs are currently trying to fix it. If you have Kiri Engine Pro, you can also export with Quad Mesh, which will give you an even cleaner mesh. I hope you enjoyed this short video on the new featureless object mode in Kiri Engine. And if you want me to make more 3D scanning news centered videos, please let me know in the comments below. I really hope you enjoyed and thank you for watching.